This is a metamaterial. These complex modules can each fold, twist and compress, giving the overall structure surprising properties that could be used in engineering, robotics and even encryption. And their design was inspired by origami. Mechanical metamaterials are structures carefully designed to give rise to unique or unusual physical properties. Here is an assembly uh, system uh, that is made uh, of uh, the Kreslin towers, a tower like this. These modules were inspired by the Kreslin origami pattern, named after Baruta Kreslin, an architect and researcher into foldable structures. Kresling towers are structures which compress and expand when twisted, and they are, importantly, bendy. The origami field has been dominated by what is called the rigid origami. That means you do not uh, deform the material. Even very complex origami like uh, this one, this is rigid. Okay? And, uh, but uh, when I deform this, the panels are not going to deform. The difference here is that uh, what we are doing is uh, what is called a non-rigid origami. When I deform, can you see that this is uh, deforming? This looks like an S. If this was not deforming, it would be straight uh, like this. You see? Using non-rigid origami is key for this new metamaterial. For example, it gives the Kresling Towers the property of bistability. That means there are two stable states that the tower can take without needing extra force to hold it in place. Open or closed. Up or down. One or zero. And if you make a second tower folded in the opposite direction and attach it to your first tower, you can create what the researchers call a dipole. A module that when compressed rotates in the center while the ends remain fixed. Combining these modules in different ways gives rise to a variety of properties. A folding square arrangement creates an object that reduces in width and height when given a twist, or twists as you deform its height. The team has also used different materials to make modules with different stiffnesses. The red, uh, the white and the yellow, they behave differently. Some are weaker, some are stronger. Arranging these stronger and weaker elements in different ways means these columns react differently as the load is increased. These interesting properties could be used in a variety of different ways. Another idea that the team have prototyped is a panel which could help control temperature. And uh, you see, uh, this is a black surface, right? And uh, the units are white. White material reflects sunlight, cooling the panel while black absorbs it, making it hotter. If I just actuate each one like this one, now what is the dominant color that you see in this location? White, right? And uh, now, because it is white, and uh, this is passive radiative uh, cooling, you see, now the temperature here is about uh, 27 degrees. Another possible application makes use of magnets in the material. The team have developed a method of remotely manipulating these structures using carefully tuned magnetic fields. Very light, uh, simple uh, robots that can perform lots of functions. I, I always ask this as a joke in the lab when I give the demo, what do you see? Is this a, a robot that is a material or is this a material that is a robot? This could allow for untethered movement in tight spaces and remote fine tuning of mechanical properties. And the team have even experimented with more elaborate coordinated movements as well. Dance routines aside, these devices could even have applications in computing. For example, the team have demonstrated that they can mechanically encrypt information. This is based on an arrangement of modules that gives the structure a kind of memory. Their final state depends on what has happened to them up until then. If I uh, pick up uh, a piece of rubber, for example, and I twist it of a certain angle this way, and I twist it back, the net twist is zero, right? 
and then nothing happens. And that's what we teach students. And this is what we see in this setup. An anti-clockwise twist followed by a clockwise one leaves the system in the state it started in. But like a magic trick, doing those same movements in the opposite order gives very different results. What you expect is that uh, if the net twist is zero, that uh, you start here and you finish there. Nothing happens. But uh, here, see how different it is. Because the order, the order of uh, actuation matters. This mechanical memory-like property could have a whole host of applications. The ideas for potential uses that the team have come up with so far are just the beginning. They hope that their new metamaterial could have applications across a wide range of fields, all thanks to this fascinating combination of origami-inspired twists, bends and folds.